Hey guys, I hope everyone is doing well. Um, I'm here with the last video of the year and I've left it right till the end. Um, New Year's Eve, uh, as always, family got colds and um, and the rest of it. And I've been wanting to video the last couple of days and even get involved in a really cool uh, collaboration video with, with Scotty, uh, Marathon Gaming um, on, the, on the Switch. I'll leave a little link to that, um, that below. But yeah, I lost my voice and had a ruddy cough and all that all that kind of crap so um, but yeah feeling miles better the last yeah last few hours um, I should say it's uh, it's the afternoon so I think beer is permitted um, so you're having a having a few swigs to get me get me through this one um, yeah haven't done a pickups video I guess a dedicated pickups video for a couple of months now um, mainly because I've been yeah, on the road visiting shops and events and, and and stuff like that and i've tended to particularly the shops when i've come back uh, i've done a video about the the shop tour and at the end uh, just kind of you know focused on what i grabbed at, at the time so i'm not going to include i'm not going to double count any of those um, these items any of those items so these are things uh, which i kind of yeah bought kind of separately i think the, the one exception is the nottingham um, games expo and i think we'll we may yeah kind of start early on we'll, we'll cover those um, those items but i'm gonna do two vids this one's gonna be around like games and game related and um, stuff and i'm gonna do a separate one for toys and everything else uh, and i'll be honest over the last probably two three months or so i've kind of a bit of, yeah reignited my passion a few few toys and bits kind of sprang up on ebay or when i've been out and about um, in shops i've kind of noticed stuff and um more effing rabbit holes and, and and bits like that, but it's got me yeah. But balanced things out a little bit in the in the quarter in the last three months and got yeah probably as much toy related stuff as I have like game and um, game related. So I know some people like both. Some people you know don't like the toys, like the games, and vice versa. So I've just and it'll be a sillyly, stupidly long silly. It's not even a ruddy word. Stupidly long video just to try and combine um, everything into one. And I've already been rambling for a good. Um, good couple of minutes but uh yeah i want to get too kind of sentimental and uh, and all that crap but um you know key highlight of the year really has been well, a couple of things firstly um it pretty sounds a bit cheesy and kind of repeating a bit what i said like last year but generally just kind of striking up some good uh retro relationships with with folks be it um you know through watching videos and, and commenting and um, in a few like your yeah, WhatsApp groups and, and and things like that across the year, that's been really really uh, really cool. And you know, jumping on, uh, haven't done many, but like you know, a few uh, streams with with other people. Um, swap shops probably the main um, the main one I've done. I've done a few toy related ones. Um, the collaboration, so the the retro collecting uh, little mini series that was brilliant and just loved. Yeah, the amount of people that wanted to get involved and and did some you know some amazing kind of videos and contributed to that it was just uh, just like mind blowing. Um, and then finally, yeah, getting like I said you know previously, just getting out and about um, this year, I did set myself a bit of a target. It's been a bit bit mental to be honest, but um, yeah, any kind of opportunity. And like most of you guys, I'm if not all of you, like you know, work and just bloody take over and family stuff can take over but when I've had like a bit of down downtime the odd kind of day off um, or even on like you know weekends I have been you know out visiting like shops traveling um I would say the length of the, the, the country I think the furthest I made it up was to uh, doorway to um to Dorkness but for a kind of a southern um pansy like me but that's, that's quite a way isn't it and uh yeah but no kind of went there to, I met yeah loads and loads of people loads of tubers that um you know last year i was you know interacting through comments or whatsapp or maybe the odd um your phone call and chat actually um you know meeting people has been really really cool uh really really cool want to do more of that um next year and again just try and juggle it around family work and, and other commitments um a few people i really wanted to see this year that unfortunately for various reasons including this bloody cold um recently up yeah a few people haven't managed to to see and i don't like yeah, breaking kind of commitments on um, on stuff but yeah last week i have done that um but for those people yeah apologies and i'll uh um, yeah make up for it next year and look forward to um to yeah, properly meeting up with you then as opposed to yeah handing over my 
the Lurgies and the Germs, which is what it would have been this week. It wouldn't have been fun. Um, so yeah, more of the more of the same next year. I haven't got any no cheesy kind of strategy or stuff. For this 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 channel and I don't quite make it up as I as I go along. It's come all you know stuff that I like, I, I grab that I see, the people that I meet. To me, that kind of converts into um, um, into videos. And um, you know, numbers wise, I haven't totaled them up. I've probably done. Um, I don't know, maybe kind of fewer vids than I did um, last year. I was doing, you know, more more shorts and some silly stuff. Maybe I had more time on my time on my hands, but and this year it's mainly been around, uh, you know, the pickups and the and the meets. Um, I do want to do more of the old cheesy. Let's get physical um, stuff next year. Again, it just needs I need to be that right kind of frame of frame of mind and a bit. It takes a bit more editing, and it's not just to sit down and. And talk BS like these these videos are. It needs a bit more, not this overly like technical. Which takes a bit more time, basically. So if I want to do some of them next year, and I've got some stuff that I think would um, would lend quite quite well to it. That's enough of the rambling. Um, yeah, kind of bit of a pile of pile of bits. Um, I've got some notes only because my memory, as most people know, is pretty crap. Um, so the notes are really yeah. The first kind of list is is names of names of people. So um, starting off with Nottingham, so the Nottingham Games um, Expo, um, that was, where was it, really a couple of, couple of weeks ago, it was absolutely like, phenomenal, um, and a small event, but really, really, you know, enjoyable in terms of, you know, who was there, um, you know, the kind of stuff that was, that was there, um, so, you know, some, some stalls with some, uh, with some tubers, which we'll come on to, um, in, in a second. Uh, yeah, some of the Evercade Evolution magazine gang um, were there, so uh, yeah, really, really cool. Uh, met Mark, uh, met Liam, um, so people I've been chatting with, uh, you know, over Facebook groups and, and stuff. I haven't probably probably met, so they were there. Um, there's kind of you know, panel panel discussions, all sorts um, being being sold. A few kind of uh, local stores to Nottingham, um, they were there, um, and it was pulled together by. A couple of people with a couple of cool, cool channels. So you got James. It's much more um, an owl from and Games Reup. So kind of their first event. And I, yeah, I'm sure like all these things, there's lessons learned. But they did a, a damn side better than I ever would have done. Um, trying to yeah, organise something like that, and the logistics and the, and the sales, and the, you know just all of it coming together. It was um, it was good. Uh, I don't know the, the kind of Nottingham too well, but. It did feel to me, and the weather was kind of a bit so-so, but it was the kind of central, but not central enough to catch, you know, local people walking by. So, and um, I think with the ticket situation as well, I think maybe it changed a little bit on maybe on the Sunday, but um, yeah, by, by and large, you had to kind of pre-order, get your, get your tickets up front. But those guys did a really, really good job. Um, and uh, yeah, so the night, night before I was exchanging... Uh, messages with the the knee chicken feed me chicken um and yeah he said oh i can't go i had some some car woes and um and some issues and the rest of it i was like oh shit that's a bit of a bit of a pain da 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 da, da. and then i don't know a couple of minutes after i was just like oh blimey that's so like i messaged him and said look oh, it's not much of a detour at all really for me just a bit further up north and then back down um to the event i was like look i can give you a lift but can i have a place to kip um, so it was a bit of a win-win. He -win. got to got to go. I got to see him again. Uh, met him first time earlier on this year, um, and I got to yeah stay stay at his and save me. I just doing like a real long. It would have been a crazy. Um, I don't know nine ten hours of like driving in a day, and I'm too old for all that shit. So uh, it was good to uh, stay over, and we yeah we we had a, a cool time and uh, met his family. We were like super super duper welcoming. Uh, really nice, really nice bunch. Um, played a fair bit of Cuphead uh, in the evening uh, and into into the night. Um, yeah, had a really, really, really cool time. That was as good, if not better, than the the event. Was spending time with uh, uh, with FMC. It really, it really was a giggle and it's something. Yeah, kind of lifted me up. For the, got me in the uh, in the Christmas spirit. It was it was really, really good fun. Um, yeah, so the event itself. Looking over here, it's my pink, pink post-it nose. So obviously, yeah, Phoebe Chicken was there. Um, Ali Ali, sixteen bits and bobs. 
Um, yeah, such an awesome, awesome fella. Again, been chatting with him lots over the social media, but never believe him met him. And um, a couple of times, I thought I may have met him for various reasons. It kind of made more of me. It kind of fell through. Um, so it's great to uh, great to meet you, mate. And um, on the other non-gaming related um, vid that I do, I will focus on some really cool stuff that Ali uh, Ali brought along. Uh, but great to meet him. Um, met a uh, Goldtooth uh, again for the second time. So the first time I met him was at Doorway to uh, Darkness, probably summertime. Um, so he was there with his uh, his son, who believe it or not, has probably got even more energy um, than, uh, than than Goldtooth. Um, I put all the, the details below. I can't for the life of me, top of my head, remember the name of Tess's um, YouTube channel. Um, but I'll, yeah, I'll add that add that to the description. Really cool um, to meet her, and she did very very well in the uh, it was like a Mario Kart tournament um, that pursued, and I think it was the top four uh, people made it to uh, during the day. The top four best scores and went into a bit of a tournament. So she was one, and uh, and Ali was uh, Ali Ali was was another one. So um, that was super cool. They didn't they came close. They didn't win. I picked up the post by. Uh, Someone who was yeah intensely into Mario Kart really uh, yeah I think if they hadn't have won it, if she hadn't have won it probably would have uh, uh, the place would have erupted but yeah Ali and Tess they did they did very well um, regardless Scotty um, even though he's brought ten minutes down the road for me I've never um, I think we, we we worked out actually we may have kind of briefly met in passing um, at Neon Knights like the arcades but I kind of. I didn't put two and two um, together, and we didn't really kind of chat that time. But finally got to meet him in in Nottingham. Um, so yeah, marathon gaming, and uh, yeah, top top guy. Everyone was going on about how uh, how tall he was, and yeah, he's 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 a he's a tall guy, but uh, yeah, uh, real top fella, real real lovely guy, and um, yeah, Scotty will will spend some time in local arcades um, in in 2023, and um, yeah, look forward to. Uh, yeah, there's some high school challenges and uh, and all that jazz. Um, and then I think I've been on the swap shop with him, but again, never met him. Rob, uh, not gamer again, a proper like gent of a gent of a guy. I think he was there. He might have done the Saturday and the Sunday. I just did, I just did the Saturday. Um, but that was yeah, that was super super cool. And I hope that's. I was even looking through photos for this, thinking shit, I can't forget someone. But if I have apologies, um, but I think that was the. Uh, uh, the main gang, I think there's yeah no, another two we'll come on to in a um, uh, in a bit because I've got some pickups and stuff from him. Quick swig. Um, so yeah, what did what did I grab there? Got a couple of or well, three like piles from like three different people. The first one um, was from a guy that I bought stuff, literally a ton of things from like magazines over the god knows how many years. Uh, Mark Mark Jowett. Um, such a top fella, and I think he kind of fuels the uh, yeah magazine buying obsessions of a lot of people in the in the retro um, kind of community. And um, yeah, so if, I don't know if it's like a Facebook kind of group, certainly like a website, uh, like Sega Mags, and he's just he's basically on a mission to get every single Sega related uh, you know magazine that that came out. I think in the I think in the UK, um, and he's now he now offers because he's down to such a slim amount, a lot of money for the remaining ones. Um, but they are, yeah, they're kind of rare, but fascinating guy, but a guy that I'd never properly met and uh, I knew he was going to be there. He has, he's one of the writers uh, in the fantastic um, Sega Powered um, magazine and it looks, looks like he's blowing, he's blowing his nose in the corner. Um, but yeah, an absolutely like top, top, top fella. I mean, like makes him on the old Facebook for, um, for quite some time. It's a bit of a better, better picture. And uh, yeah, it was cool to uh, cool to meet him. And yeah, funnily enough, this is the, this is the latest mag. And there is there's someone getting fairly physical with their, their Mega Drive Two. There it is of course the fantastic uh, John Bunday. So go and yeah, go and check his his channel out. But yeah, cool to see Mark. Um, I did buy yeah quite a few mags from him. There's a few downstairs. I didn't bring them all um, up. Some of them I'm actually going to ping on to other people because I know that some of the cover art and what's in them um, it's going to float their float their boat um, 
And uh, yeah, if you retro gamer magazines, which again I didn't bring those up, it's kind of ones where they cover you know various um, uh, game kind of series and bits. So I thought I'll be quite quite good. I I stopped my subscription to. Um, retro gamer just because I had so many I wasn't getting time to read them all so now I'm kind of picking and choosing um, based on um, what I like but yeah the, the, the mags I picked up from um, from Mark got like Megatech uh, with the dragon dragon on the front and then there's, I mean, there's just the adverts got a fantastic game Robocop vs Terminator on the um, on the back a bit about you know Aladdin in there we've got one of them the Universal probably behind me Universal Adapters just like writing when writing you know, kind of physical mags obviously come back to so just say you're powered but just writing and gaming mags done um, done well I'm not going like, to dissect each one in um, in, in crazy detail uh, CMVG because it's got a bit about Star Wars games because uh, I got a complete crush on Michelle Pfeiffer as Catwoman that was the the draw and of Batman Returns is a pretty decent game um, People getting their lock on rock on for uh, Super Mario 3. And then one of the finest Game Boy games on the back, Robocop. Um, yeah, Mario Kart, this is the GBA Mario Kart. Um, kind of edition of Nintendo, uh, Nintendo magazine. And uh, but yeah, Mark, Mark stuff is like super, super cool. He normally does obviously bundles because it's otherwise the weight of the magazines. He's posting them out, it's just not worth doing. So to get them at an event was quite, quite good. and. I literally I kind of grabbed a, a big bag of, uh, of mags and kind of dropped them in, dropped them back in the car. But a lot of them have the um, yeah little kind of uh, it's like a Game Boy magazine within the Nintendo magazine. Um, so a lot of them already you know, have their extras and there's bits about Mega Man um, in there. So it always has cool cool stuff. But it'll buy you know massive bundles to kind of trade, make a bit of money. Got a few as he gets writing career, a few few things on the go, but. Um, he buys beer bundles really um, I'm assuming so he can get some of those magazines he hasn't got and then he obviously moves on um, the ones he has um, yeah Tootie let's talk about Tootie so yeah obviously been following him um, probably for as long as I've been you know, following retro gaming stuff on uh, on YouTube so obviously a guy with an incredible collection and <coughs> knows his stuff and he travels Travels the UK or certainly does a few gaming markets with uh, with Fob. So yeah, he was there. Um, my hearing is is pretty crappy. I think his hearing is probably equally crappy. So that combined with there was like a panel event going on, speakers around the room. We were kind of shouting at each other like it was some kind of club, um, some kind of nightclub um, environment. Um, but yeah, so that was wasn't the best kind of environment to be, you know, having a having a bit of bands, but we did have a good chat. Um, I think I brought them all, but the the games I remember grabbing from him, um, uh, Pop and Twin B, like awesome blooming um, shooter. Being got this on like the Switch on the uh, like the online, I think it's on there. Uh, just the manual as well. I've got that. I haven't got that handy, but that was a year. Uh, that was cool. I used to love this game back in the day. Uh, on the old Amiga, but yeah, Syndicate. I don't know. I don't know quite how it plays on the um, on the on the snares with the Amiga because you pick up the the mouse and stuff. So I think it's a slightly different different game for better or for or for worse. But um, worth checking out. Just the kind of nostalgia alone. It's it's pretty um, pretty awesome. Next one. Yeah, my disc is just really getting into like shooters on the on the Wii had some really good recommendations from retro importer James and um, this one played a few, like, played a few times maybe played it too much and I'm not normally take care of my disc but just just kept like uh, loaded up and then it would just kind of fail and um, halfway through the game and I was just like a bit pissed off with it so yeah house did an overkill so Tootie had that and uh, this probably a couple of other bits I got from him and um, yeah got a nice Nice deal, took a bit of, bit of money off, so um, yeah, it was cool to get stuff, but yeah, even cooler to um, to meet the guy. And he, I'm sure, meet, I'll see a bit more of him in um, in 2023, but hopefully, yeah, but not so much uh, noise in the, in the background so we can kind of hear each other. So yeah, good to see him. Um, there was another, I'm sure they had a place in, in Nottingham, but there's no kind of clues 
uh, on the stickers or anything on. I can't remember for the life of me the name of the um, the shop, but they had a kind of store there. I did, in fact, I looked at the Nottingham Games Video Games Expo website. I think they've archived a lot of stuff off, so I couldn't even get the names of whoever they were there. But he was nice. It was a guy chatting with a um, a guy who was kind of taking a bit of a lead on the on the place. And I think there was a um, a lady there, kind of the owner of the uh, owner of the shop. But a couple of bits, probably not the best of best of games. But for me, they hold a bit of bit of nostalgia and certainly in terms of you know what they uh, the film the films um albeit from um yeah chatting with a few people i think this one is a bit of a it's a bit of a reese a reese skin to say the least but yeah bill and ted's excellent adventure um obviously for the um for the game boy ljn which probably uh like a few people have commented really had a clue for a not being a particularly great um great game woolies were selling it for yeah Twenty four ninety nine, but it's a bit yeah, a bit of a kind of platformer thing. Like I say, a bit of a reskin, but yeah, just for the bit of the nostalgia, a bit of Bill and Ted. I used to love that bloody film. I still do, still do, and Bogus Journey as well. Haven't seen the, the recent one, and probably won't bother um, unless you know any different. And it's actually a good film, but I suspect it probably isn't. Um, and then yeah, Judge Dredd uh, versus was it yeah yeah. Ugh. Judge Death, so first person shooter. Again, I probably haven't. I haven't heard much about this. It probably means it's not the best of best of games, but we'll see. Um, see how we go. Stu's retro reviews. In fact, he had it for the his very recent pickups video. I think it was for the PC. So he's yet to play his. We'll see how we see how we get on. Right. Um, so yeah, I think that was the expo. So really good time there. Um, Oh, this is fucking random. Excuse my French. Random bit of. So the the uh, what's the context for this one? Um, got the PC Engine, got the Neo Geo, a couple of bits that need uh, SCART plugs basically, and um, on they've got a modern Teddy, but it's only got the one SCART thing. And if I go on Amazon and buy like these multi these kind of uh, what do you call them, like switches and stuff. They're all a bit kind of cruddy, so someone recommended this one. This isn't by you know, but really, really nice ones. Perhaps I should invest a bit more on one, but they can be a hell of a lot of money. So this is probably like a middle of the middle of the road. I don't know if it's as you can see, it's not even um, opened yet, but uh, yeah, it's got switching switching units. Uh, <coughs> excuse me, all the jazz. So um, yeah, I say New Year's Eve today. Perhaps I'm gonna get on a bit of a mission um, later and just play around with it um, see if it's see if it's any good but the ones I've got here Amazon you yeah, pay cheap money they just didn't didn't bloody work at all we kind of just yeah get a bit um, you know signal on one but not on the other or neither work so spend it was an eBay thing so I didn't spend loads of money on it um, that was that over Crimbo. Went up north, spent some time with the in-laws, which was which was cool. Um, so there, yeah, Southport, um, Southport Way, and um, yeah. So, uh, what's the best way to tackle tackle this? Apologies, I'm all all over the um, all over the shop. Da, 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 da. So yeah, so yeah. All right, let's get organised. I'm going to do a jump cut because that would just take more time than it will do just to sort of this. Christmas Eve, Mrs. said, look, need to get some stuff, some more Christmas presents, some bits in the in the morning. Um, so we hit good old Southport, was kind of wandering around. She needed to go to M&S, get some vouchers um, and bits. I knew, because we'd been there a few times, CEX was in a vicinity. Not a massive CEX, went in there, had a look around um, on the hunt for... DS games at the moment, even just taking a punt on, you know, cheapy, cheapy ones of which this was one, uh, Batman, the video game, the Brave and the um, and the Bold, it might be an absolute load of pants, but we'll see, I haven't really got anything to, um, to lose beyond a, beyond a couple of, um, couple of quid, got that, and then couldn't see much retro, I was chatting with a guy, I was a little bit around the corner. Um, some Game Boy games, can't remember what they were. They weren't nothing to write home about. 
Um, but then I saw, yeah, something else, a game which literally I had 30 days, 30 days? 30 years prior in 1992, is that right? Yeah, 1992, um, Christmas Day, Super Nintendo was out, Mario Kart was out. Um, and then, yeah, Street Fighter 2. So I've been looking, yeah, look, it's, it, I would say it's in like pretty good condition. It's not, um, it's not bloody mint. It's not in very good or, you know, or excellent condition, but it's not, no kind of mega tears or anything. I've put it straight in a box protector. Struggled to get one um, off eBay where there wasn't something, you know, there was a tear or the manual was like really ropey or like the... Um, the uh, kind of the box, uh, the cartridge kind of holder was a bit. I'm not that fussed about the cartridge itself because I put it like loose, um, like separately in a good in a good kind of condition. But there was always something a bit ropey about it. So um, I just thought oh, the, de the destiny of the Street Fighter Two, thirty years um, since I got the original one, strolling around. So I was like, right, I'll grab that. And uh, the guy was it was like it was some kind of Indiana Jones relic, and it made me feel really bloody old because he was just like, yeah, well, it's an old. One of the needed a bit of remedial action um, on one of the flappage. Uh, one of the um, things that lit literally was was coming off. It needed a bit of tape in. I was like, oh, I'll do that. The guy was about to throw it in the bin, and he kind of put it put it to one side. And then the other guy was sorting out, and he nearly went to pick it up. Such, so just leave it, just chuck it in there, chuck it in the box. But he's like, yeah, it's really old. Just like, mate, that's like if that's old, and I'm I'm a dinosaur. Um, so yeah, that, anyway, that was that was pretty cool. Um, yeah, afternoon, I've, I've, I'll put a photo up because we um, already did like a few social media posts about it. But in the afternoon, um, I met up with um, 9-11 Gamer, uh, 9-EG, um, Steve, uh, who's like Blackpool Way. Um, and I bought some yeah, awesome stuff from him, you know, for the year and trade. He's given me um, some some stuff. Um, so I thought I'd be good to... Uh, Good to see him. So we always, always had plans to kind of try and meet up. He kind of messaged me um, that morning. I said, look, I think I can meet Christmas Eve in the afternoon. It should have like an hour or so. So I went to the almighty Blackpool, saw the, uh, uh, from quite a distance, it's a big old bloody tower, Blackpool Tower. And uh, yeah, kind of went, went to his, I had a Desperado. Um, yeah, I had, had a good drink. And... Um, yeah, it had really, yeah, really good, really good chat. Saw it went through his his kind of collection. He's got some awesome stuff. He's got a fantastic dual monitor kind of setup. So if you're doing like driving games or whatever, then regardless of where you're sitting in the room, um, you have no excuses of not having a full full frontal. Uh, sounds wrong, doesn't it? Um, you get kind of a, a front-on viewing of the uh, uh, of the monitor. So um, so that was pretty um, pretty wicked. He took me to. Um, Again, I don't even know if I've got the stuff here. I might not even have it. I have to do it on a, on another um, on another bid. But yeah, he took us to a gaming place. Um, oh, crowd was it Eclipse uh, home, home Entertainment, um, and that was pretty cool. So I grabbed yeah, not much stuff from there, but um, only because Blooming Crimbo and I kind of just bought Street Fighter Two. Um, so that was good. Definitely would head back there. Definitely, obviously, would head back to uh, to see. Um, Steve again, so that was that was really neat. Um, yeah, and then kind of back, back at base after Crimbo, we got the colds, uh, which was which was fun, and then probably no particular order, it's just kind of stuff really, eBay bits and um, a lot of it. This one's in fact is from Steve, <coughs> um, albeit I think he posted it Crimbo present style um, earlier on. Um, in December, but yeah, Sonson 2, call it platformer, see for the PC engine, like a Hue card, um, a Secret Santa, trying to load, trying to locate everything, it's a real, it's a real mess now, it's got, it's got out of hand, um, I'll flash it on the screen if I remember to do so, but Secret Santa, the generous Santa got me a, an awesome um, PC engine, um, game it's kind of to give a quick like test before I went up north for Crimbo but um yeah a 
Yeah, kind of a bit of a, a slasher. Uh, I think there's a couple of like elements to it. One's kind of a side-scrolling um, slasher game, and there's a bit of kind of top-down. I don't know if it's Virgin on a bit of RPG um, stuff, but I did look it up in my PC Engine manual to uh, find the name, but I did write it somewhere, uh, and I completely lost it amongst the many post-it notes. But um, yeah, and for the cover art alone it's uh, it's friggin awesome so that's that's cool um can't for the life of me and again i think this was an ebay purchase but it's like wonder boy it's like a basically a bit of a reskin of wonder boy in monster land um <coughs> because they didn't have the rights that they've used is it procure it be cure man i'm probably pronouncing it completely wrong uh, but like a japanese thing like a trading card um, like character, but for all intents and purposes, as I understand it, the game is the same as the kind of you know the, the Wonder Boy sequel. Um, again, obviously PC Engine, U card. Um, so that's cool. Good to get some more PC Engine um, stuff in there. Uh, this next couple of bits are from Pixel Hearts. So I. I can't remember when I got it, but like a Neo Geo like mini. Um, it's like a mini arcade thing, which you can kind of plug in, but if you plug it into like your telly, um, yeah, you feel like a bit of a knob trying to do the controls on the like the arcade thing. So I needed some pads. So uh, I don't know, I was just looking at, looking at their site, I bought some stuff from them, normally like Dreamcast games and other bits and bobs they do. And like the Andro uh, Dunos, like the shooters, like the 3DS uh, one. So they had, yeah, I got like a a couple. So I thought that was, I don't know how much they were, for like 30 euros or or something like that. Quite quite decent, random. Great character, I have no idea who it is. It's like a, bit of a ninja um, character on a badge. Um, and they have their first one, but a little uh, magazine of what's coming up in the year. So. Let's have a look through that. Uh, this one turned up yesterday. I downloaded Shredder's Revenge for the Switch pretty much as soon as it came out. Um, I was just too bloody eager, albeit I had uh, at the time kind of pre ordered the physical version through um, Limited Run um, Games and it arrived yesterday and it's absolutely friggin' awesome. Um, it's like one of the cheaper kind of VHS covers if you remember them back in the day. Um, so I think it's probably going to face, if I'm not careful, the similar fate whereby putting the tape in and out, or this goes like plastic, uh, cardboard tape in and out, kind of um, can kind of you know uh, fold and dent the old cardboard um, a little bit. But um, so you got like the outer case, you got the fake VHS, and I put like a post on Instagram, and a couple of people have uh, said, "Wow, have you got like, have you got this?" They're like, "Is it a film?" And it's like, "No, it's like." It's Paper, it's cardboard. Um, it's that it looks that authentic, and um, you open it up. You don't get loads, don't get the game. So the kind of standard, standard game, and then you get a pretty cool, like feels a bit, bit embossed, um, like a steel tin. Get in. Yeah, probably you're not a massive steel tin fan, but. This one's done done pretty well, and I think it's the yeah the whole VHS um, tape thing. It's just no, I mean, I, nice. Don't get too geeky over my box art, so maybe I do, but that just looks friggin' awesome. Um, and then yeah, nearly there. Not too much other uh, many other bits. It's Marmite. Let's, let's, let's be honest. Some people hate them. Some people love them. Some people are like eh. Um, Big Evercade, so they brought out the uh, EXP, uh, uh, I guess the second um, handheld, I know they've done a couple of editions of the first um, handheld, um, but one with a, a, a far better screen, um, so it's kind of, you know, it's Wi-Fi it's wi um, as well, a bit more kind of memory, um, going for a bit more power. Um, but yeah, it was I think it was hundred and twenty nine ninety nine. So you see get that you get the handheld. Um they struck up a bit, bit of a deal with Capcom. A bit got bittersweet in some respects, but it's hey hard. I was kinda of seeing the, the sweetness from it, but they didn't Capcom 
whatever happened within the negotiation, I think Capcom really wanted to, uh, to um, allow them to distribute like physical cards. I guess I guess that's what quite happened. So the games themselves, that's some that's some good. Um, it's got eighteen Capcom um, games on there, so all kind of yeah. Street Fighter Two, Hyper Fighting. Um, it's got Mega Man X. I think it's also got Mega Man One, Mega Man Two, Ghouls and Ghosts, Nineteen Forty Two, Captain Commando, Final Fight, um, and a few others. But then you do get a physical um, Irem Cart with um, yeah, In the Hunt. I'm going to pick like a few like R Type, uh, Moon Patrol, uh, Lightning Swords. Uh, so yeah, that's that's pretty decent. Bit of yeah, a bit of fun. I kind of commuting every now and again. So. Uh, switch and, and one of these little bad boys, a bit of sensible soccer. Um, so yeah, I mean the. It's talking about the box art and the, the yeah the packaging's pretty cool. So I've got one of them. Um, yeah, so whenever it was, early on the year, got like the Mega um, SG. Uh, for yeah, mainly for kind of you know Mega Drive and they get adapters in there. So got like the Master System, um, and then the one for, excuse me, the um, Sega Mark III. So yeah, Fancy Zone, it's basically Master System, uh, Fancy Zone, but seeing with cool um, Japanese um, packaging. Um, so grab that. I think that was from RetroGames.co.uk. Go and check them out. Um, fan made, um, fan loved. From uh, Revo, uh, I, think it's, I, think it's, I think his name's Mark. Um, but Revo's pretty, pretty well known in the Mars System kind of community, and um, doing kind of you know ports of ports of games. And um, so this one up. Da -da 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 -da. So so yes, you've got a few on, yeah, a few available, and just kind of email them. Uh, Ollie, uh, Eight Bit Boy. Um, He's a yeah. He's kind of mate, mates with him. I know a few of the other guys. Um, I like Clint uh, Retro Rewind. I've, both those guys are definitely I'm sure they've got this game. Um, in fact, it might have been Clint showing it. So bloody hell, I need need to get this one. But yeah, Star Wars the arcade game. Um, and it's the Coleco uh, Coleco Vision. I'm pronouncing it completely wrong, probably. Um, yeah, but something a bit different. But yeah, attention to details. You've got the Sega sticker. Got those printed at the hang tab. Um, nicely printed, you know, inlay. Structure wise, it's, it's just like a, a one page kind of slip. Um, and the game, it's just like really high, high quality. I bet it's gone about. Avoid putting cartridge in boiling lava of a volcano. Um, yeah, health and safety, right? Um, so Lay loving that. He's got um, message me if you want his kind of details. You want to buy stuff, then chuck me a message, or um, we'll turn to I'm sure you know Clint or Ollie um, will gladly share his his information. But yeah, he lives. He's out in France, <coughs> and I think um, I'm trying to think about 30, 30 euros like posted around that. It wasn't like I thought it was pretty good. Um, so yeah, I haven't played it yet. Just love Star Wars, love Mars System, and uh, he wanted a different Star Wars game for the Mars System. Um, yeah, finally, loads of people have been showing this, haven't they? Finally got physical edition of Cuphead. Um, so I'm going to open it because I've still got the. See it if you can't see it just there, the digital version um, on there. So I probably don't really need to open it. it does sound like the. Cart is loose, which is a bit of a bit of a bugger. Um, well, I'm, just, I'm a bit of a trend follower, never a trend setter. But a few people have been picking up uh, Castlevania Requiem. Uh, for me, I don't have Symph Symphony of the Night. I think I've got a saying that I think I've got a bit of a hooky Dodge version somewhere within there um, for the Sega Saturn. Um, but this you get Ronda, yeah, Ronda Blood as well. So, uh, so yeah, that's pretty cool when going up and going up in value. Um, this one I did get from it when I was let's rewind a little bit when I was out with uh, Steve Nine uh, EG and we went to uh, Eclipse Entertainment, like the video game shop near him, 
Um, I think in March, but this was I think it's probably the main um, highlight. So yeah, never never played a crash game. Um, probably going to be crap at it, but yeah, that was going for near to near to nothing. So I thought I'd pick it up. And that was it. I waffled for far too long, forty minutes. I'm probably going to do another forty minutes on a separate toy and, and um, non gaming related um, separate video. But yeah, if you don't watch that one, don't blame you. Uh, if you're still around. <laughs> nice one and uh yeah i wish you all the best i have a really super super cool um 2023 if you watch this today and it's new year's eve um yeah i hope you're having a few few beers and celebrations and friends family um, and all that jazz but i will see you very soon cheers mm -hmm.